Hey there, welcome to Austin's Beverage Corner and I'm your host, Austin. This channel is your ultimate source for honest and in-depth beverage reviews. And today I have something very special for you, but first a question. What do three brothers, a coconut, and coffee have in common? We're gonna dive into Kidu Life's super coffee and super espresso lineup to find out. Cue the intro. Growing up in Kingston, New York, three brothers, Jordan, Jake, and Jimmy teamed up in 2015 to start their best idea of a healthy coffee-based energy drink company. The youngest brother, Jordan, was tired of crashing after his early morning sports meetups, so he hit his dorm room kitchen and started cooking up this mad scientist culinary concoction that he later dubbed Super Coffee. Convincing his middle brother, Jake, to team up with him, and finally his eldest brother, Jimmy, the New York-based company now known as Kidu Life was born. Super Coffee gained its traction with the fitness scene in the New York market. Early adapters of the brand were attracted by its keto-friendly ingredients and its value proposition of price, health, and taste. In 2018, the company made a bold appearance on Shark Tank, ripping off their shirts to wow the judges and peddling their brown bean juice under the former name of Suniva. They actually elected not to do a deal with the Sharks, admitting it was a bit too early to start partnering up and they were worried about compromising the entire vision of the company. In the age of consolidation, buyouts, acquisition, authenticity is definitely something worth fighting for and that's backed in the brand message behind Keto Life's products. The appearance on Shark Tank was definitely not a loss for Keto Life. Simply getting the airtime gave them a huge boost in sales. Kidu sold more coffee in the first 12 hours on Amazon after the show aired than they did in the entire year of 2017. The coffee's website traffic to their online shops spiked over 20,000% and there was an impressive 54% conversion rate among all total website visitors. Rohan Oza, a guest shark on this particular episode who is widely known for his work with M&Ms, Snickers, Coca-Cola, and the revival of the vitamin water brand commented on the following. The taste profile is great. I wanna commend you on recognizing the shift that's happening in the food and beverage industry today. You guys have recognized the shift that's happening, which is high in protein, high good fats, low sugar. So I'm thumbs up with you on that. I'm also really impressed with your velocity. According to an article from BevNet, founders of Kidu Life noticed some inappropriate workplace culture happening, and DeCiso reached out to philosopher Rick Blackman, his consultant and ethics professor from Colgate University to help out. This is a direct quote from BevNet's article. Blackman worked with the team several days a month and quickly recognized the problem. Kidu Life's employees were all white men, most of them DeCiso's college friends and basketball teammates. He worked with the brothers and Kidu Life team to draft a two-page ethics statement, which included a commitment to diversifying its team, vowing to advertise in places where non-white guys are. So my next question is, what do you guys think of this? Is this like super cringy? Is this super cool? Do you guys think they're being really postmodern and edgy or like what, <laughs> let me know. Let me know what you guys think about all this. So regardless of this weird internal thing going on, uh, they've continued to expand their product lineup. Obviously we've got super coffee here. We've got super espresso there. They also have super creamers, uh, you know, curate coffee cup things you put in the machines. And the, all of that is available at participating retail locations and on the company website. Keto Life strategy has always been simple. Sell ready to drink energy blended beverages containing honest, healthy ingredients, fight for shelf space in grocery stores and use minimalist branding to stand out. It appears to be working as the company is now valued after five years, over $50 million, according to an article from Business Insider. So what actually is super coffee? The ingredients are fairly simple. Start with organic Colombian roast coffee and instead of adding milk and sugar, you add 10 grams of milk isolate protein uh, and MCT oils, AKA medium chain triglycerides, which is a type of saturated fat that derives in coconuts and organic natural sweeteners such as stevia and agave nectar. So today I'll be trying out vanilla, caramel, and original from their super espresso lineup. And then I'll also be trying out original hazelnut and mocha from their super coffee lineup. I'll be covering appearance, smell, taste, and mouthfeel. All right, that's enough talk. Let's start cracking some cans. It's a lot. It's it's a lot less creamy uh, than the uh, La Cologne. Smells. It's got a weird. Obviously, if you've cooked with like coconut oil, it'd be something that you'd be familiar with the smell. Mm. It's a uh, slightly dark brown. It looks like coffee. It's a little zingy in the middle. It like it's it's like got a little bit of a bitter taste, and I know it's from the oils, um, but it tastes healthy. It's pretty good. I would say taste-wise, it's slightly under La Cologne, but I know this is a lot healthier than La Cologne. <laughs> so, um, you know, with health products, 
there's not added sugars and stuff like that. And I think they're compensating by adding all of the natural sugars. And as far as like a refined sugar or a natural sugar, which one is better for you? I don't really know. So just do your own research on that. But it seems to me that refined sugars are way worse for you because they're so highly concentrated. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try this caramel right here. Basically very similar viscosity to the vanilla. Um, let's see how it smells. Oh, you can smell the MCT oil in it. Um, it's actually very similar to like CBD. If you ever have like CBD gummies or anything like that. It's got this like very woody, earthy, kind of woodsy type of flavor. The combination of like the natural earthiness flavor of like the Colombian coffee and then the MCT oil kind of combining in that. Also, I wonder if like <clears throat> the caramel flavor, I think I think the caramel flavor is like actually just like a caramel extract. They put a lot in there. So um, the, caramel, the caramel flavor is pretty strong. The MCT oil, like I said, that's that's pretty strong and apparent too in the in the flavor of this beverage. As far as a health beverage, I would definitely grab this. Um, this is something you could like slam before you hit the gym if you need that little extra boost or uh, trying to avoid a crash or something like that. It's good. All right, on to the next one. So this next one's an uh, original flavor. So I don't know. I don't think it has any. Oh, it says unsweetened on the can. So we'll find out what flavors are actually apparent in this. Um, tastes like wood. <laughs> It's got like a very woody flavor to it. And again, I think it's the, um, it's the MCT oil. It tastes kind of like CBD oil. Uh, not much going on here. I, I, I think this, this is like actually a very, very stripped down, just pure fuel in a can, which is what they were going for. So it's got protein, MCT oil, and espresso. Like this, this is just straight to the dome, uh, ready to rock and roll for you uh, fitness enthusiasts. I highly recommend this product. And also I've been drinking this for a little bit. I'm starting to feel a little bit of like an energy boost. And I feel great. From what I was reading on the customer reviews and stuff of this product, there's no crash and it's very steady, like steady ramping up. And then you get this like natural boost in your energy levels throughout the day. So we'll see how I fare um, in like an hour. <laughs> I think I'll be faring pretty well after uh, all this espresso. So I give this these products a rating of 9.5 and here's why. It's definitely clear that Keto is serious and dedicated about their ingredients. People in the health and fitness industry will love this straightforward, no BS approach to coffee which is definitely why I think the product is awesome. The taste isn't going to necessarily beat out like milk and sugar beverages, but it's definitely good enough to where I, I could start substituting in this product instead of the garbage in the interest of self-care. Like I said earlier, the energy jolt I'm feeling is pretty incredible. Uh, and I also read from customer reviews that they're getting a very natural energy boost from this without the crash. One thing I'd like to point out is I think the branding is a tiny bit confusing. Like when I first started researching the company, I thought it was called Super Coffee, which is obviously like plastered all over their stuff. That's kind of the handles that they use on everything. And if you type in like Kidu Life on, I think it's it's either Instagram or Twitter, you won't find anything. You literally have to type in Super Coffee. Also the header on their website, like when you go right to the front page, it says Super Coffee on it. It doesn't say Kidu Life anywhere. The only time I was able to find Kitu is like right here on the can in the circle and then also on their LinkedIn. One last thing I'd like to note is I think sometime between 2017 and 2018, they rebranded from Saniva to Kitu and that kind of further confuses the audience. So um, I hope they really stick with the Kitu brand and they don't rebrand again and change all the packaging and stuff like that because it's already very recognizable. And I think you might lose some of your audience if you continue to do stuff like that. All right, on the company rating, 7.8. And here's why. So they're still new to the industry and I kind of want to see how they develop. They're fighting for authentic ingredients, but I'm actually worried about those getting compromised if they do end up getting bought off by like a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi, which they mentioned in a Cheddar interview that that's kind of what they would need to back them to get into like major chains like Sam's Club and Costco and things like that. So I do worry about you know, their value prop of like price, health, and taste dropping. Like I said, we'll see where it goes. I'm kind of a little skeptical after I saw that interview. It kind of loses a little bit of trust in the brand because what you've been doing is you've been pushing this brand saying, hey, you know, this stuff is healthy. We're gonna always use quality ingredients, but hey, if Coca-Cola comes by and they offer us, you know, a few hundred million dollars or whatever for the company, yeah, we'll definitely sell it or whatever price it ends up being at the time. So sure, it's great that Kidu Life is sending the message now that there won't be a compromise, but how long can I believe that message? I'm also worried about any sort of legal litigation surrounding the weird internal issue they've been having with the uh, the locker talk going on in the office and the workplace diversity issues. I would have hired an HR professional, not a philosopher, but you do you, boo. Um, I just 
think you guys should have erred on the side of caution. You guys are trying to stay ahead of the curve. You're trying to stay new and hip and not do the corporate thing. But in that type of scenario, like you guys just need to play it safe. I think that was a bad move. Um, ending on a positive note, I think the workplace culture in general has really shifted to being on call 24 seven. Uh, we're constantly connected to the workplace through chat, email, your phone, social media, whatever. And it's just too easy for work to like kind of wedge its way into people's personal lives. Um, I highly commend Kidu for doing things like restricting uh, after hours work and communication and granting their employees unlimited PTO. That's pretty awesome. I've actually never worked for a company that has unlimited PTO. That's pretty cool. Now, despite my earlier comments about their methods of consulting a philosopher instead of an HR manager, they've actually clearly demonstrated that they're rec they've recognized an internal issue and they're actually doing something about it. So pledging to diversify, create employee workshops and provide equal pay is something that every company should be doing. And I think Keto Life's doing a really good job as far as like the result of the choices that they made is still really good. One last thing I would like to see from Keto Life is to have them campaign for the community. I mean, whatever issue you guys want to get behind, uh, I think Keto should partner with a nonprofit company to try and make the world a better place. I mean, the MCT oil used in your products is known to help people manage conditions like epilepsy, Alzheimer's disease, and even autism. So touching base on one of those issues and doing a PR campaign and actually raising money could be a really cool, awesome thing to get Keto Life to the next level and also spread brand awareness. But then more importantly than that, help people who actually can be helped by the product and might even need financial help from a company like Keto who can actually do something about it. So. All right, so this right here was just part one of a two-part series. I figured it would be a little bit overboard to cover all six beverages in just one shoot. So we're gonna go ahead and dive a little bit into these. Uh, it'll be a very short video, but I'm gonna dive into these super coffee lineups. Um, and then also, if you like the show, don't forget to click like and subscribe so that I can continue bringing you the best the beverage world has to offer. Um, also, there's gonna be articles in there that I used in my story. And of course, links to the Kitu Life's website. If you're listening to this on a podcast, just be sure to check out the link description and then also feel free to hop on YouTube if you wanna see my beautiful face. It's gonna be Austin's Beverage Corner. And uh, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome and I'll see you next time. Peace.